broccoli. Caleb, I was asking Matt just a minute or two earlier about just the differences this fall in, in things kind of being back to normal compared to last year uh, with everything being scattered with COVID and such. And I remember when we talked in the spring about, just about how all that, how it all played down, how hard all that was for you. Are you able to get a lot more work done? you feel a lot better about how everything's going this fall camp compared to last year? Um, absolutely. In regards to that, I, I feel like it's almost night and day from what, how I was feeling in the spring. Uh, having a full off season has definitely contributed a, a bunch to me being able to be successful and be in better shape and just make the most out of our practices, go hard, and just try to get better every day. Kevin and Tyler? Yeah, uh, Caleb, uh, you know, Ryder Anderson uh, seemed pretty impressed with what you guys are doing early on. I mean, given the experience and the number position, uh, how good do you think you guys could be? The sky's the limit for this team. I, I fully believe that that as as far as we want to go as a unit, as as far as we are willing to work and prepare to go, is as far as we'll go. And um, I don't really think there's any limit to where we can go with this team. Anything specifically with the offensive line group, though, in terms of uh, maybe what you guys feel like you're doing well and what you guys want to work on? Um, a big thing from last year to this year was being able to run the ball, and that's been our focus pretty much for most of this fall camp was just making sure that we're able to open up holes for our running backs and make our offense as balanced as it should be so that we can, uh, you know, play at the level that we need to to get to where we want to get to. Tyler and Dustin. Hey, Caleb, I hope you're doing well. Um, you mentioned the off season. I guess just what has kind of been the main focus for you and um, have there been kind of any specific elements of, of the game that you've wanted to uh, improve and, and how have you done that? Um, well, the number one thing for this offseason was, of course, getting my weight under control. Um, last season, I didn't play at a weight that was ideal for the goals that I had in mind. And um, I'm sure a lot of people saw that in the way that I played. So uh, this offseason, it was all about getting my weight under control, working as hard as I can just to maximize you know, my talents this last year that I have, um, and just making sure that I'm working hard and I'm leading my group in the right direction. Justin and Matt Weaver. Hey, Caleb, I was going to uh, kind of keep going on that point. You mentioned you talked a lot, I think, when we, we uh, talked to you in the spring about you know, keeping your weight under control, the, the better conditioning you were able to get in spring practice as opposed to just as messed up as last year was. Uh, how has that progressed going forward? I guess, what, if, if, you know, what are you down to? How do you feel with that kind of weight? And just how do you just generally feel like, uh, how do you feel about your progress and how do you feel that's like that's translating into what you're able to do on the field? Well, <clears throat> right now I'm kind of sitting at about 350, which uh, I don't know if, if any of you guys know that, but I have not played at 350 pounds probably since I was about a sophomore or junior in high school. So I'm at a, a really good weight that I feel a lot better at. I feel a lot faster when I'm moving. I feel like I have a lot more wind. I feel like I can go, you know, and at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about is being able to play with no uh, parameters, no, you know, nothing holding me back. So it, it definitely feels very good. Matt. Hey, Caleb, how you doing? I'm pretty good. How about you? I'm okay. Um, Luke Hackert's a guy that came in last year. He was obviously, you know, really undersized, um, has put on some weight. What, what have you seen? How much, I guess, growth and, and improvement have you seen from him, you know, from last year to this year? It's not been that much time, but he looks like a totally different player physically because of the weight he's put on. What have you seen from him? Um, Haggard is is a guy that came in and, you know, he was he was small, but – he wasn't small. He was skinny, but he had a big frame. And he's definitely filled that frame out now. He's probably at around 310, 315, strong as an ox. And, and I'm really excited to see what he's going to be able to do with Kadic on that side. Um, <clears throat> I think that Luke is, is going to be a really good uh, tackle for us at the end of the day. Either. Yeah, Caleb, just going back to the point about getting your weight down, I guess, uh, what has gone into that uh, nutrition-wise? Like, I mean, is there any kind of favorite foods that you've had to cut out or um, just conditioning-wise to, to be able to get the weight down to where you want it to be? Well, um, I, I sure haven't been able to eat at my dad's restaurant too much. Uh, I haven't been down there in, in a few months. It's probably been for the best, even though I want that food bad. You know, it's it's good food, just not great for you. Uh 
and other than that, man, it's just been Coach Wellman sticking to his plan and, and you know, really putting faith in, in him and then just exploring self-discipline myself, just making sure that I know, you know, what I have to do and what I can't do and, and making those decisions on a day-to-day -day basis, which I feel like I've, I've gotten pretty good at now. Do you have a, a favorite dish from your dad's restaurant? Uh, I'm 100% partial to my dad's ribs. I absolutely love ribs, and my dad has a great dry rub on his ribs. Y'all should go check it out. His place eatery. Mike? Yeah, Caleb, who are some of the young guys that maybe haven't seen the field much yet on the O-line that have made an impression on you this fall? Um, I like what I see from Vinny Fia Cable. I like what I see from... Khalil Benson, Josh Sales, uh, Andy Boutrell. Um, I like the freshman class a lot, and I like a lot of our younger guys. I feel like they are really hard workers. They they pay attention, they learn, and and they really have a drive to get better. And at the end of the day, you know, in a younger guy, that's that's all you can ask for is is someone who just really wants to get better.